Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this thin to bold text effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to start a new composition and I'm just going to create a 1920 by 1080 pixel document at 24 frames and I'm going to leave it at 5 seconds in length. So I'm just going to press OK. The first thing that you need to do is you need to create a solid because we are going to create a background and then we are going to come over here to our um, effects and presets and look up the effect gradient ramp. So we're going to add that on. Once you've got your gradient ramp on, you need two sets of colors. So I'm just using this website coolers.co and I'm just finding my colors here. So I'm just going to click on it and then paste it back. Cool. So I have my gradient background. The next thing that I need to do is I need to grab some text. Click on the T tool, then click anywhere on the screen and I'm going to write some text. Now the font that I'm using is quite special. I'm using Filson Pro and the reason why I chose this font is because when I come down here, there is a big difference between the bold font or the black and the thin. So that means that when we go and do this effect, it's actually going to look pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to align this to the center of my document and this is going to be the thin one. So I'm just going to rename it thin and then I'm going to duplicate that by pressing control D and I'm just going to come over here, grab my selection tool, double click on it and then change this one to the bold one. So I'm just going to press enter and then just write bold. So now I've got two separate layers with thick and thin text. So once we've done that, we need to right click on the layer and then go to create and then create shapes from text. And you need to do that to both of those layers. So now that I've got them, I'm just going to put them right underneath each other. And if I take the eye off, you can actually see that they are still there, thick and thin. So now what we need to do is we need to open up the thin outlines, go into contents and you've got all your letters here. Now when I click open on that, there are two parts to the B and what we need to do is basically we need to open up all of those parts and then just click on the path. So make sure you go down and if there are two parts to one letter, then just make sure that you are on the first keyframe and you just set that keyframe animation on. So now that I've done that, I can actually go and press U on my keyboard and now that will bring up all of those paths. Okay, so there's no animating just yet because we need to now go get the thick outlines and we're going to repeat that process again. So we're going to pull down, open up content, go into the B and we are going to just press on the path and mind you, I am still on that first keyframe. So we haven't really done any animating just yet. So now once you've done that, I can press U on my keyboard and that will bring up all my paths nicely. So now that we have all of our paths here, we need to come over here and we need to select all of them. Then we need to press Ctrl C to copy them. And then you need to come over here and we just need to make sure that we highlight all of these paths. We need to make sure that we move forward one second in time and then we can press Ctrl V to paste. Now we don't need the top layer anymore, so we can get rid of it. And now when you scroll back through, you've got this animation that kind of looks a little bit wonky like that. But so far the animation is actually working pretty well. So what we need to do is now we just need to adjust a few things. Okay, so we need to make sure that, let's zoom into this a little bit better. All right, we need to make sure that we come over here and we set the first vertex. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick a place where we want the animation to actually start from. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm just going to highlight that one section there. I'm going to right click, go to mask and shape path and then I'm going to write set first vertex. And so now I'm going to go to the end of that animation and I'm going to grab that same point and then I'm going to do the same process again. So now when I've got that you can see that now the, the majority of the B is animating pretty well. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to repeat that process again. 
all right but we are going to do it for the inside of that circle so i'm just going to zoom in i'm just going to highlight that point and then just right click and go set first vertex and then move forward to the end of my animation and then highlight that point again and then make sure that i put set first vertex and so now when i animate that and you can see here now it's starting to look a little bit cleaner so now we're up to the second letter and so we're going to repeat that process again but this time i want the outside point of this circle from where i actually want to start the animation so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to come over here and i'm just going to highlight that point so i'm just going to make sure that i can bring it up highlight the point and then go and set the first vertex and then when the animation goes to the end we're going to highlight that point again and we are going to set that first vertex and so now you can see that the shape doesn't kind of twist inside itself and that's pretty cool so now i'm going to do the same thing for the l And so if you've done that correctly, then you will be left with something like that. And you can see that, that that's looking pretty nice. So the final thing that we can do to this is we can just copy the keyframes from the front or the start of this clip and then move forward to two seconds in time and then just press paste. And so now what's going to happen is it's going to go from thin to thick and then back to thin. So the final thing that we can do with all of these keyframes is we can press F9 or we can go and convert them to Easy Ease keyframes and then we can come over here to our graph editor and then make sure that you um, click and hold and highlight both those sections over there and we're just going to create a nice little graph that puts these back right in the middle and so it goes slowly and then it goes all the way up and then it comes back down and so we're going to repeat the process on the other side we are going to draw that in make sure you click and hold and then bring that up to the middle like that and so now when we play that back it goes nice to the bold and then it goes back to the thin and then you can render that out and uh, do whatever you like with it so anyways guys, that is a quick tutorial on how to go from bold to thin text using Adobe After Effects. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.